Today I want to discuss a little bit about uh, real estate titles and designations. A lot of times people are out there and they, they get confused. They're not sure as to what it, what's the difference between a realtor and a real estate agent, or the difference between a broker and a broker associate. And, and, and you know, there's so many titles out there now that we want to make sure that everybody is on the same page and everybody understands what each one means. So let's start off with the first one. The first one is a, of course, a real estate agent. This is an individual who takes the three courses and passes the three courses. They receive their three certificates that entitles them to take the California Bureau of Real Estate exam. They pass the state exam, then they become a real estate agent. The next one, a real estate salesperson. Now, real estate salesperson is the same thing as a real estate agent, just different wording. Next, we have a realtor, an actual designation of a realtor. Now, that's kind of special, a realtor. A realtor is somebody who's joined the National Association of Realtors, NAR. Now, what's the, uh, what's the benefit in that? Well, I'll tell you what the benefit is. By joining the National Association of Realtors, an agent must abide by a very strong and strict code of ethics. This is what entices real estate agents to become realtors. Because with that realtor designation, they're going to pledge the best performance they can for them. Now, by becoming a realtor, by having that designation of a realtor, there are 17 articles when you are a realtor, 17 articles within that code of ethics, 17 stipulations that the realtor must follow at all times. These 17 articles, these 17 stipulations, these 17 code of ethics, it explains how the realtor must treat their clients, how the realtor must treat the general public, and how the realtor must treat their colleagues. Very, very beautiful program, National Association of Realtors. This is why it's very, very popular. And a lot of real estate agents decide to go from becoming a real estate agent to transferring into becoming a member of the National Association of Realtors. Then we have, of course, a real estate broker. Real estate broker, it's a very simple real estate broker. Somebody who has a real estate license, a regular real estate license, and they've taken additional courses, additional courses above and beyond those that were taken to become a real estate agent. They've taken additional courses and, of course, they passed a broker's exam. Uh, the real estate broker exam is more difficult, of course, than the regular real estate exam. Uh, but by passing that real estate broker exam, you now have the designation, the designation of a broker. Last but not least, we have what we call a real estate associate broker. Now, this is kind of, kind of, kind of an interesting yet unique title. An associate broker. Wait for it. This is slightly confusing, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible. An associate broker is somebody who's, who's decided to get the real estate broker's license. So they're a broker, but they don't want to open up their own brokers. They don't want to, to manage other realtors below them. They don't want to be the umbrella. They don't want to be the broker and have all the expenses and having to manage a company, a real estate company. So what they decide to do is the broker, the new broker decides to work for an umbrella for another broker. So you have a broker who has a licensed, a licensed broker working under the umbrella of another broker. This way, the broker who's underneath the umbrella, the associate broker, doesn't have the responsibilities or accountabilities for the business in that office. Not a bad thing to do. Go out, get your real estate broker's license, and work for another broker. Let them take all the responsibilities and accountabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, there's a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of titles out there. And it's good to know what they are, the difference is, the majority of you watching this, step number one, you're gonna go out and get that real estate agent license. 